Hey guys, welcome. My name is Mike. I'm a plant supervisor here for the San Luis Rey Water Reclamation Facility. We treat 8 million gallons a day of water here and we have some exciting things going on here. We have a new reclamation facility can treat up to 3 million gallons of water a day. That's a purple pipe you'll see going throughout town. That'll send water to your golf course, the beautiful sports park we have, and also to the bird sanctuary. We also have a new project coming online here shortly. It's in construction. Pure Water Ocean Site that will treat 4.5 million gallons of water a day also. Okay, so we're excited to start the tour. Come with me, we'll go to our first stop, which is the Headworks. We're at the beginning of the treatment process. When we were up there at the admin building, it was beautiful. This place is beautiful. But here, it gets pretty stinky. So this is called the Headworks, and this is where we have our first form of physical treatment. Back behind you, you see the bar screen. Our bar screen is here to go ahead and do our first line of removal. Because here, we're here to treat water. The problem is we get so much other things that shouldn't be coming here. All these rags, plastics, uh, all this other junk that shouldn't be in there, we're removing. As you see, it's moving it up. It's gonna to go to a conveyor, and we're gonna go ahead and take those rags, so they're gonna go downstream from the conveyor, get washed up again, put them in a dumpster, and they'll go off to a landfill. But the water, after this process, will go on to our next stop, will be the load equalization tank. So I'll see you guys out there. Welcome to the outside. So we were just coming from that Spanish tile building over there. Uh, that was the headworks. That's where it was, uh, yeah, a little stanky. The reason it's so wonderful out here, you see all this white fiberglass all around us? Well, that sucks in all the foul air. It goes through these odor scrubbers. So it takes the foul air, cleans it, and blows out beautiful air that we can all enjoy again here. The water from there comes underneath us and to these load equalization tanks. Each one holds about a million gallons a day. So from the load equalization tanks, the water goes down these tan pipes to the primary settling tank. Hey guys, welcome. So now we're at the primary clarifiers. We've left the load equalization tank, come over to the primary clarifiers, kind of the, the great divide where we get rid of, we separate the, the solids from the liquid. So here, kind of see a sample I have. What a difference from the headworks when we were over there, the stinky building, remember that? Anyway, we have a dark, oh, some dark solids here at the bottom, a little bit of grease on top. So the liquid, the water in the middle, that's going to go on the further treatment for the aeration side but the solids is going to get treated over here. So let's go ahead over to look at the solid section. So we're still dealing with the solid side. We're standing outside the gravity belt thickener building here to my left. Let's go inside and take a look and see what's going on inside there. As you can see, the solids come in and hit the conveyor. We add a little bit of polymer. Now you can see how wet everything is. The solids are less than 1%. As we add the polymer and it travels down the conveyor, going through the chicanes, it will thicken up to about 7% solids before being pumped into the digester. This is almost the end of our solids tour. They've come in from the Great Divide at the primary, the gravity belt thickener, and pumped into here. The digester, now their digestion system, just like this, is kind of like ours. It runs about 98 degrees, just like you. It stabilizes in here for about 30 days. The biogas goes through the, the methane, through those orange pipes, to our cogen. Then the solids from here will get pumped over to our dewatering building where we have a centrifuge. That will take those biosolids up to 22-23% cake. From there, those solids are shipped off to Arizona to go help for soil rem remediation for cotton and alfalfa. Hey guys, so welcome to our final clarifiers. So the water is taking quite a journey. From way back there when we were at the uh, Great Divide, the primary clarifiers, the water next went into the aeration tank. Aeration tank probably about there for, oh, maybe four hours. Now think of the aeration tank like what you have at your home. For your, your fish tank, we have that little bubbler in there. Same thing, but on a much grander scale. Water goes in there for about, oh, four hours. Comes in here to the final clarifier. Now look how beautiful the water is once it comes out of here. Now I took a sample. As you can see here, again, look at this water and think back to how it was in the, at the headworks, at the primaries, and now to where you'd almost want to drink it. And here are all the biosolids at the bottom. 
Now these biosols, they did all the work in cleaning the water. So after those bugs have cleaned all the water for about two hours, it comes in through this backside and travels down this long channel. That clean water comes over the weirs, beautiful. Just coming over, it's gonna travel down this channel. And as it travels down this channel, it's either going to one to our reclaim system to be disinfected and cleaned again, or for pure water ocean side. Hey guys, so here we are on the final stop of our journey. The water's come from our final clarifiers, now into our disc filter, as you can see. The water goes through these disc filters, bringing it even cleaner, then is disinfected through our CCB. After it's traveled through our CCB chlorine contact chamber, it goes through the purple pipe to be used throughout the city. But very exciting, as you can see behind me, is all the construction for the Pure Water Oceanside project. Vast amount of construction being done right there. And we look forward to when we have the Pure Water Oceanside and our reclaim system, we'll have 50% water self-sufficiency in the city of Oceanside. So I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey today out here at the San Luis Rey Water Reclamation Facility. And we hope to see you in person out here real soon. Thank you.